Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System and my review for the very lovely speakers that you can see there behind me, finished in crimson red, the Wilson Audio Tune Top speakers. And I've also been reviewing the Wilson Audio ISO bases which go with the Tune Top and form part of the Tune Top ecosystem. I haven't been using the grills because I like my speakers to go commando. So as a total package, the cost of the speakers, the ISO bases, and the tune top rings is around 12,000 pounds. So it is serious money for a speaker system, and it is very serious money for a bookshelf or smaller type of speaker system, but this is a very, very serious speaker system that is capable of absolutely fantastic high-end sound quality, even in really difficult conditions, such as being up there on a desk like they are behind me, because that is how they have been designed or that is what they have been designed to do. Wilson Audio as a company really is a household name that stands for quality, engineering excellence, and they are makers of very aspirational speaker systems, the type of speaker systems that young audiophiles might have posters up at the, on their wall when they might gaze and wish and dream they could own them one day. And that may seem a little bit far-fetched, but it's not really, is it? Because you're probably watching this video because you would love to own a pair of Wilson Audio speakers, and I hold my hands up, I would love to as well. Wilson Audio speaker designs, their aesthetic and visual styling, and their manufacturing techniques, even their paint finishes, are all part of what makes a Wilson Audio speaker a Wilson Audio speaker. But I think the big question is, when you look at the Wilson Audio speakers towards the top of the tree, and then you think, hmm, these tune tops are at the very bottom of the tree. These are the entry point or the entry level speakers from Wilson Audio. How much of a Wilson Audio speaker actually are they? Now, Wilson Audio are famous for their speaker cabinets and the tune top has technology taken from the Sabrina and the Alex in the use of special composite materials called X and S material. The internal enclosure of the tune tops are asymmetrical to prevent any buildup of standing pressure waves within the cabinet and the speakers are rear slot ported. When I first unboxed the tune top speakers, I was shocked by their weight. Some things you'll carry and they feel heavy and other things you'll carry feel like complete dead weights. And what do you think really the difference is? It must just be in how solid the construction of each individual thing is. And with the Wilson Audio tune tops, they feel like complete dead weights. Really ultra solid, heavy, and they just feel like they've got a super strong construction and they definitely stand out as speakers in this regard. After I carefully removed the protective tape, the paint finish quality on the tune top speakers is about the best that I've seen. No swirls, no scratches, no orange peel, just perfect. There is a very subtle gradient to the side profiles of the tune top speakers which you can see from certain angles. They are quite subtle. I dare say there's more to them than just purely aesthetics. And if you look at the tune top's bigger brother, something like the Alexia for example, you can see they have the same design, just a little bit bigger. The quality of the tune top finish continues to the rear of the speaker. There's quality, there's quality, there's WPT binding posts, which means there's more quality. The front of the speaker is a little more interesting. The mid bass driver, I'm sure some of you instantly recognize. A five and three quarter inch doped paper affair, and the tweeter is a one inch doped silk fabric sealed unit. The speaker leans back slightly and is set off visually by the top corners being chamfered. The tune top rings are an additional extra, but they do make the speakers look much nicer. Now, I prefer the look of the speakers with the grills off. However, the grills would be really useful for keeping the dust off of that mid bass driver, which is actually quite difficult to clean. It's really quite difficult to clean dust off of it, so bear that in mind. The ISO bases are an additional extra. They are designed to improve the look and performance of the tune top speakers. They are a special design of composite materials and individual damping layers. These help to isolate the speakers from the surfaces they are placed on because 
This is something that's very important about the design of the Wilson Audio Tune Top speakers. They are from the Wilson Audio Special Applications Engineering Project, which is basically where a speaker is designed to solve a specific environmental challenge. In this case, or the case of the Tune Tops, that is placing a speaker system on top of a desk or on top of a piece of furniture or maybe a worktop or similar. And that is also why I've been reviewing the Tune Top speakers in here in my office up there on that desk. And I'm pretty sure the Wilson Audio Engineers would have made a few design choices as a result of this, such as having the speakers roll off their bass at about 65 hertz. I can already hear some of you shuffling and scratching, saying, what, 12,000 pounds for a pair of speakers that don't do bass below 65 hertz? Well, before we carry on, there's two points I think to make. The first is, if you go and see the song demonstration videos that I've made, you will see that 65 hertz bass can actually still be very good bass. And that's actually quite a lot of musical bass within music. And I think the second point is, I dare say the Wilson Audio engineers decided that they don't really want to be pumping a hell of a lot of bass down into work surfaces, office desks, or expensive furniture, rattling maybe priceless vases, or for me, my cup of coffee. And it's interesting because I've played the tune top speakers really very loud and I've been working on the desk, had my arms on the desk and you can feel some resonance and some pressure in the desk itself, but hardly any considering actually in the room, there is a lot of audible and physical bass. So to me, that means those ISO bases are doing their job. And you can also hear the ISO bases are doing their job in how the speakers sound and how they present their sound. But before we get into that, I want to bring up the detailed setup procedure which Wilson Audio suggests owners of the Tune Tots go through. I made a whole video about this and I'll link it up the top there for you. But in short, the speaker's placement, their toe-in and their reveal or angle is all critical to achieve the best time domain. And by time domain, really Wilson Audio mean the perfect integration between the mid bass driver and the tweeter. Speaking of timing, I think now seems like a really good time to talk about the sound quality. When you listen to the tune tops straight away, you can tell they are a high end speaker. And what do I mean by that? Well, even before you fully and correctly and to the best practice set them up, they in the main disappear. You don't listen to speakers, you listen to a musical performance. Well, really, you're listening to a hi-fi systems performance. And there are two very interesting points there that are different, but both come under the term transparency. Whatever signal quality you feed the Wilson Audio Tune Tots, they will tell you for good and for bad. Get it right and they reward you with glory. Get it wrong and they very much make you aware of it. And that is exactly what you would expect a high-end speaker to do. And you don't need to spend £100,000 on a system to make them sound good. If I revert you back to the Cyrus OneCast review that I made using the Wilson Audio Tune Top speakers and how I was able to achieve really fantastic sound with a £1,300 all-in-one amplifier. But bear in mind, I had played very close attention to everything around that amplifier to ensure that I got the sound quality that I did. And that is something I think very important to stress. And it's something that I noticed straight away. You will need to give the system some love to give the Wilson Audio Tune Tops some love. But if you give the system and the Tune Tops some love, they will reward you for it. They will reward you with a detailed, very fast and crisp treble that combines and balances its sharpness with sweetness. The vocals and mid-range are just as crisp as the treble, full and rich sounding, nice and warm with lovely character. The vocals are tangible and are rock solid in the center of the sound stage. They're not vague or phasey, they are good, solid vocals. The bass is limited in extension from the tune top speakers. As we know, that's an intended design choice. But I think this is a very critical area and something to bring up and discuss with you because you do need, for every speaker system, the correct amount of bass to balance the sound with the amount of mid-range and treble. If you don't have the right amount of bass, speakers can sound lean, they can sound dry, and in the worst cases, they can sound shouty. Now, I feel, some audiophiles might find it easier to balance the sound of the tune top speakers 
using a subwoofer. And it's not the end of the world or a bad suggestion to use a subwoofer with the tune top speakers as really we need to fill in sound below 70 to 65 hertz ish. Anyway, it's certainly not essential to use a subwoofer with the tune top speakers as I think I proved and showed and demonstrated. If you're using a subwoofer, make sure it's a good and fast one because the bass from the tune top speakers is exactly that. It's tight, it's fast, it's articulate, it can be really punchy and it is very transparent. Wilson Audio tune top speakers are able to image very well above the speakers, below the speakers, out to the sides, beyond them and in front of them. And again, this has been particularly impressive given the conditions and the environment I've been using them in. And I think this is where the value proposition of the Wilson Audio tune top speakers in particular come in. I'm sure there are thousands of audio files all around the world that maybe spent eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours a day, maybe even seven days a week working at a desk. And with speakers like the tune tops, you could sit there and have very high end sound playing to you all day while you work. And at the end of the day, you could just as easily kick back, put your feet up, crank up the volume and be given a really thrilling musical experience. And there's not many speaker systems that can do both of those things. So for my final thoughts of the Wilson Audio tune top speakers, and I really wish it wasn't my final thoughts, I came into this review with rose tinted glasses on, well actually crimson tinted glasses. And that's because I remember being a much younger audiophile thinking, wow, Wilson Audio, they're the speakers you buy when you've made it in life. So I did come into this review, as I say, with tinted glasses on, but with exceptionally high expectations. And I must say, it's been a very interesting couple of months. The speakers have sat up there on my work desk for all that time and <laughs> I've become very accustomed to them, very used to them. In some regards, they are imposing, but really they haven't dominated the desk or my workspace like I thought they might do. And they've very much made themselves at home and I think it's gonna look pretty weird and barren in here without them. Certainly a hell of a lot less colorful. And as a speaker system, they instantly earned my respect with their build and finish quality and they instantly earned my respect with their sound quality and they instantly earn my respect as a high-end speaker system because they have pushed me. They have pushed me as an audiophile to work hard, to work out ways to get better sound from them. The improvements you make make a difference and that encourages you and that motivates you to keep pushing, to keep pushing to get better sound. And I'm pretty happy with the sound quality that I achieved right at the end of my time with these speakers. And I feel that I'm maybe only about halfway or 50% of what they're capable of. But as I said in the last video, 50% of a Wilson Audio is still 50% of a Wilson Audio. It's still outstanding sound. And for me, knowing that oh, if these were mine and I own these speakers, haven't only achieved 50% of them and there's that much more sound quality and improvement to go and get, I find that thrilling, I find that exciting, and I find that some of the best bits about this hobby. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the review and the mini review series that I've put together all about the ultimate desktop hi-fi system. Don't forget there's already been two videos specific to the Wilson Audio tune top speakers. All this will be linked down below in the video description. So thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up and all that good stuff. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.